दिस इज गुड आफ्टरनून दिस इज सेकेंड वीडियो इन दी मैट प्लॉटली लाइब्रेरी हियर वी विल सी द प्रैक्टिकल एग्जाम्पल हाउ टू प्लॉट अ लाइन प्लॉट ओके इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कशन अबाउट वॉट इज मैट प्लॉट लिप लाइब्रेरी हाउ हाउ मेनी टाइप्स ऑफ प्लाट प्लॉट्स आर देर वॉट इज डिफरेंस बिटवीन बार प्लॉट एंड हिस्टोग्राम सो हियर ऑन वर्ड्स वी विल सी विथ अ प्रैक्टिकल फर्स्ट थिंग और आवर फर्स्ट स्टेप इज टू इम्पोर्ट दी लाइब्ररी फॉर इम्पोर्टिंग लाइब्ररी आई एम टेकिंग की वर्ड और राइटिंग की वर्ड एज अ इम्पोर्ट इम्पोर्ट मैट प्लॉट ली डॉट पी वाय प्लॉट पी वाय प्लॉट इज अ मॉड्यूल विच बिलोंग्स टू मैट प्लॉट लिप लाइब्ररी एज पी एल टी इंस्टेड ऑफ राइटिंग और एवरी टाइम दिस बिग वर्ड आई विल यूज की वर्ड और आई विल यूज शॉर्टकट एज अ पी एल टी यू कैन यूज एनी वेरिएबल नेम बट मोस्टली इन पाइथन मैट प्लॉट लिप यूजेस पी एल टी फॉर मैट प्लॉट लिप डॉट पी वाय प्लॉट की वर्ड नेम एज अ शॉर्टकट ओके देन हियर आई एम इम्पोर्टिंग द library that is num p as n p now suppose i want to draw a graph or i want to plot a line for daily temperature for 15 days for that i am taking two variable one is day days from 1 to 50 and second is temperature so this is the 15 days temperature that is from 1 to 15 days okay now For plotting this, I am using plt dot plot function. See here, plot function is there for plotting a graph. Plot in bracket days comma ten. Then for displaying a function, I am going to use a show function. For that, I am writing plt dot show function. When I will run this code, and this will show me the output like this. This is a daily temperature for fifteen days. Now we'll go. see the second example in second example i will tell you which function is used for write, giving a title to this graph as well as for giving a label to x and y axis so title function is used for see this title function is used for writing a <coughs> heading to your graph and x label function is used for giving a label to x axis and y label is used as a give Y label function is used as a, or uh, we can say it is a y axis label. Okay, then I am writing a plt dot show function. Firstly, I have taken the number of days that is one to fifteen, then temperature of this fifteen days. Then I am using the plot function for days and time. Then I I want to give the title to this plot, so I am using a title function. In bracket daily temperature. So this is my title name. Now I am giving x-axis label as a days. For that I am using function x label and y-axis I want to give the name as a temperature. So I am using function y label. Then I am plotting this graph. For that or for displaying I am using the show function. Now when I will run this code, it will give me the graph like this. Now. Suppose I want to change the color of this graph. So, same code as that of previous. Number of days are fifteen. Temperature of this fifteen days. And then, title function is used for writing or for giving the name to the graph. Then, x label for giving label to the x-axis. Y label function is used as a giving label to y-axis. Then, plot function. In plot function, I can assign the argument or I can give the parameter so i want to give the color as a green so in bracket i am giving color after days comma time color comma color in code green then i am using the show function or for displaying this okay so when i will click in this bracket when i want to show all the functions which is related to this i can type or i can press shift tab when i will press this shift tab it will display the all functions which are present in this so you can <coughs> take any function from this okay as per this you can 
take the example okay so I have taken this one plot x comma y this is for plot x y using default line and style and color and plot x comma y comma b o this is for blue circle markers plot y for using plot y using x as an index array 0 to n minus 1 and then plot y comma r plus this is for ditto but with red pluses okay this is the explanation regarding this function so whenever you want explanation regarding that particular function you can type shift tab go into that function then type shift tab you will get the function details okay then click after typing shift tab click on plus so here that's all regarding the line plot in next video we will see about the bar plot